Ladies and gentlemen, our next segment together is going to be another panel. So would you help me welcome up close personal friend of mine now, as of 10 minutes ago. Make some noise and welcome up Ellen Hockley Harrison. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Can you guys all hear me? Yeah. Everybody? Awesome, cool. Uh, so as he mentioned, my name is Ellen Hockley Harrison. I'm an event planner. Uh, I run a small little boutique company in Jersey City. We're greater good events. But today, we're here to talk about uh, how to make a picture, how, oh, sorry. Uh, the title of our session is A Picture is Worth a, a Thousand Likes. Um, and so we're here to talk to two amazing people in uh, sort of the photo video world. Um, Donville Collins and Laura London, who I'd like to join, like to have them join me. Sit wherever. Hello. So Donville and Laura. Um, I'd like you both to give a quick little intro on who you are and what you do, and then we will dive into our presentation today. All right, cool. So, again, I'm Donville Collins, um, founder of Vcast. Um, primarily, we're a company that does two things. We do them really well, um, and that is one being video production, um, producing commercials, corporate videos, event videography, any kind of video content. We love visuals, and we love to engage emotions using visuals using visuals, and um, also have a fundometer for fundraising events. Which we will talk about. Yes. <laughs> I'm Laura London, and my company is called The Booth for Business. I'm a co-founder with uh, my husband, Ian London. We do uh, photo activations uh, at special events, conferences, and meetings with a focus of creative projects and headshot photography, as you will see out in the sponsor area. Did everybody go to headshot yet? <laughs> if you I didn't, you to. definitely need to Not do that. Okay. FYI, <laughs> my current headshot and the last one were, were both. Both by, by the booth. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Including that one. Well, there you go. <laughs> see? Now you, now you can see why it's so amazing. Yeah. Perfect. Um, so we're really glad that everybody's here today. Obviously, a huge shout out to Liz and her fantastic team. I know everybody's thanked them that we wouldn't be here without them. Yep. Um, so today we want to talk about something that I think is probably on everybody's mind. I know it's, it's been something that we've sort of talked about off and on through different sessions today, but how to really utilize the images and the videos that most of us are probably or hopefully getting from events, whether or not you're a planner or a photographer or somebody in the events industry. My guess is you're using something visual in order to either attract new clients or uh, manage engagement for your own business or organization or whatnot. And I can tell you, as a planner, I definitely use a lot of images. I'm probably not the greatest at it, uh, which is why we're here with these two amazing people, um, because it's something that I think is really important. So I would really, really love to hear from both of you, but let's start with Donville, because I really like video, um, how you can use video to work on telling your story and how to monetize it. So basically, you've got this amazing video from an event that you worked on or that you planned, you managed, and you're like, cool, now what do I do with my video? Um, so go ahead. All right, so I mean, when it comes to video, monetizing it is, is, is one term, but monetization, in, 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 at least in my terms and, and how I look at it, can be achieved in multiple ways. It's not necessarily just in dollars and cents, but can be just in the amount of attraction, the amount of engagement you have. That can ultimately turn into dollars and cents later as well. Um, I, the biggest thing I always like to say, especially when trying to engage people um, to really pay attention to your video, is, is to connect with their emotions. So how people, do you do that? Connect to the things that people care about. I think one of the um, biggest mistakes sometimes us as video creators, and as, uh, I'm sure, how many of you have worked with a video producer before, or videographer? Would you say that the most of us are, are a little bit quirky? A little bit? <laughs> 
it's it's a it's a part of our industry. And sometimes it's part of, it's part of what makes us really good, right? Okay. But sometimes you have to sort of get out of that self and really figure out what is it that the people that are watching really care about. Okay. Attach to their emotions, that? and the way you do that is to in the content that we're producing, ask ourselves what do they care about and make everything that we do around that content. Okay, so I'm gonna ask a quick question of the audience. Uh, so when Donville asked how many of you have used video, most of you raised your hands. Uh, with that video, were you able to utilize it in some way that was productive or did it just sort of sit on your desktop? How many people don't how know many, what to do with Yeah, video? how many people don't know what to do with a video? What kind of video do you get? Well, if I take my own, mm -hmm. and I'm just taking it of someone at our events doing a speech or something like that, if it's just, you know, you can't be a professional event planner walking around and taking, taking photos or videos. It doesn't work. You have to hire. But do you that. get video from your? I get it, but I don't feel that it's good enough because it won't be of the whole contextual um, speech or it you know, I hear them in the beginning and I say, oh, this is perfect. And then the part I get is not the part I heard. And then sometimes, you know, you don't have a good image. The image is sideways or it's not, it's right. not right. You can't use it. Okay, I okay, fantastic. <laughs> no, no, that's super important because one of the things. It's a memory for me, you know, it's just like, okay, but, but it would be nice. So you want to use video. Okay, so you want to be able to use video to further tell your story. That would be great. That's yes. Right? Right. Okay, cool. So what Donville does is figure out how to tell that story, right? Yeah. Okay, so I would like you to explain a little bit further about how you tell your story. Um, one of the first steps, um, at least, you know, not every videographer does this, not everyone does, but it's really important, especially to us, to really figure out what it is that you're trying to accomplish and why are you using video? Same way that you would do with photography, right? You wanna, you wanna figure out why you're using it, for what purpose, what is the objective, as opposed to just filming something, right? Is really what the objective is. Can, if, I, if I may, I, I like a lot of feedback. I know we don't have a ton of time, but can, can I get a few call outs of people that, what do, what do you use video for? What's the purpose? Okay. Can I get one more person? Package and sell the content. Package and sell the content. Sweet. And one more in back. Our organizational message and or our honorary driven event. Organizational message and honorary event. Okay. Okay, okay. So in those pieces, when the content is being created, the biggest thing that I always like to figure out is once you're knowing sort of what the focus is or what you're trying to accomplish, make every decision that the videographer makes be around that. I know you were talking about streaming, you are talking about organization and honorary, and I forgot what was the one that you said? Message. Message, selling the content. Selling the content. Now, they're ultimately, you know, it's very difficult sometimes with creative guys and videographers, because we are like, we're in our own heads and we want to get an award, <laughs> but you sort of have to rein, pull the reins in, and, um, you know, when you say you have to pull the reins and you want the planner to sort of guide your process. Well, that's, a, that's the thing, right? You don't want, want you to have to do that because then you want to pull your hair out. Okay. So the, that's one of the reasons why we do what we do and why I do what I do and why we ha build a team is because we don't want that, folk, that, that stress to be there. And, and it's really about taking that stress process out of your head and knowing that, that you have someone on your team who's going to make sure the videographers do what you need them to do. Okay. And that's a thing. Cool. All right. So now I'd like to also have Laura uh, pipe in a little bit. So uh, Laura and uh, her husband run an incredible company, as I mentioned earlier. You need to all go get your headshots. I had some done. They were really fun. And 
uh, her husband made me laugh, so that was good, because uh, I hate getting my picture taken. Um, so I'd love for you to sort of talk to us a little bit about how you've been able to utilize what you do to help uh, companies and corporations and individuals tell their story um, and why that's important. I mean, I think one of the, I get asked all the time, why do I need photo? Why do I need video? And sometimes you're like, oi vey, come on. Everybody needs it. Um, so I'd love to sort of hear from you yeah. about how you guys are able to do that. Sure. Well, I mean, there's obviously event coverage, which, you know, is, is covers your event and shows what happened. What we focus on is, on is um, guest engagement, attendee engagement. So what we're thinking a lot about is why are these people here and how can we create a photo experience that's going to engage them and that's going to stretch the dollars that you've spent. So. Um, our, you know, our primary focus is that everybody's seen a photo booth at this time. How, who has not been in a photo booth? I mean, is there anybody in this room? Like, we all know what they are. So they're not a surprising thing to see at an event, but you can create something that's going to engage. If you just put something out that's a step and repeat, people aren't going to want to do it. But if you put out an experience um, that includes maybe a GIF or that really connects to the event. Um, you know, for example, today we're doing headshots and that's something that people really value. Um, everybody needs one. They're expensive to get. They're very difficult to source on your own. Um, so doing that and then moving beyond that, you're thinking about, okay, how can our client, what's going to happen after the event? How are you going to use these images after the event? Um, people will post them online. They'll say thank you for the great photo, um, people can socialize them, brands can put um, their logos on the, you know, the email and the, the, um, in the message, they can customize a message. So really thinking about from the beginning, what's, what's the event about, what's the client going there expecting to do, and what are you giving them that's of value to them, not just that you can brand and create an advertisement for yourself. So that's what we're thinking about. Awesome. I think we might have some images. Yeah. Do we have some images? I'm loving the annual general meeting. It's a very first for me. Um, what I treasure most about it is the spirit of energy and celebration. As you guys know, we built a network of creative collaborators where everybody can work together. In addition to the $30 million, the Siegel Family Foundation has given away since 2014. In 2016, you guys have helped over 4.3 million people throughout Africa. So just kind of, I guess, just talking about this, uh, sorry for the uh, sort of flow, but essentially with video and sort of how we're using it, we're, there's multiple things that we do primarily. It's kind of with the video you saw with Liz earlier, Sometimes we produce videos that are used at the event. It could be for a launch of, a, of, of something or a change of product or, or something of that sort, or some, to get the people to be engaged for a certain purpose at the event. Um, but as well, we produce videos of the event, event videography, and et cetera, as well as a host of other things. We just love engaging people using emotions. That's our company slogan. Some of these videos are sort of meant to sort of look at that in, in that way. Right, I mean, I think this is a really great example. The one we just saw was from a foundation, and you know, by having video at an event like this, it means that they can then send it to funders, they can send it to other people, so that people can see, A, what's going on, where the money's being spent, how it's being used. It's a really fantastic way to, to pull on people's heartstrings, um, especially for nonprofits. But uh, for corporations, it's more about like really getting the word out, I think, about what the different organizations and companies do. Um, I know we're out of time, but does anybody have any questions? Nope. Well, <laughs> Donville's team is out front. Laura's team's out front. Uh, definitely get a headshot. I don't know if he's going to take a video of you, but you can try to just <laughs> jump in front of it, and then you'll be on the video. Just give me a hug. I'm looking for a hug. <laughs> Thank you guys all for Thank listening. You guys. Awesome. Thank you.